Hey, Mike Filipov here, guitar practice expert from practiceguitarnow.com. Today, we're going to talk about learning songs on guitar. Now, this might surprise you, but I don't think that learning songs is a good idea for most guitar players who are serious about taking their skills to a very high level. Here's why. First of all, songs have zero guitar learning logic to them. They're obviously not tailored to your skill level, your strengths and weaknesses, any bad habits or limitations you may have in your playing. In fact, musical expression aside, a song is simply a collection of sounds and rhythms and things that a songwriter just slapped together at random because they would sound good. Nobody was thinking about how you learning this piece of music is going to make you a better guitar player. So what that means is when you're learning a song or a solo, most of the time, Parts of it are kind of easy, parts of it are kind of challenging, and usually there's that one or two sections that are just impossibly hard that may take you weeks, months, or maybe even years to play up to speed and to play cleanly and all that stuff. And if you're learning most songs that are within, like, within your general comfort zone as a guitar player, then my question is, how much better of a guitar player are you really becoming? You're not. You're not growing this way, you're more growing this way, where you're just staying within your comfort zone and you're just learning things that fit within your comfort zone, but you're not expanding your skill level, you're not expanding your comfort zone in any way, and that is the biggest problem of all. Now, if you're happy with that, if you're happy staying at the level you're at and just learning a bunch of songs and solos and that's what you want to do, who am I to tell you otherwise? But if you're not happy with your skills where they're at right now, you need to focus on core fundamentals of guitar playing, which are your basic skills, your picking hand technique, your fretting hand technique, your knowledge of music theory, your ability to uh, tell sounds by ear, your ear training, understanding of rhythm, fretboard visualization with scales and arpeggios, and a whole bunch of other skills I covered in my other videos on this channel. Songs don't develop any of those skills. They just test the skills you already have. And your ability to play songs well is always going to be limited by your general skills as a guitar player and any bad habits or limitations you may have in your technique that you may or may not be aware of. And as your skills improve and as you undo the bad habits that are holding you back, that's when you have more freedom to play songs and play any music that you want to play and learn it quickly and easily and have more fun just being a guitar player. Now some people might say, well, doesn't learning songs make you more creative and original? Doesn't it help you develop your own style? And to that I say, no. Because if you're just learning the notes that somebody else wrote and you're playing those notes over and over again, how exactly does that make you creative or original? That's like reading a novel that you like, reading it over and over until you've got it memorized and then writing your own version of it in your own words and calling it your own and thinking that you're being original. So what should you do if you have to learn a song or if you want to learn a song for some reason? So maybe you're in a cover band practicing a set list of songs or maybe you just want to learn to play a song that you like. My advice is to learn any song up to your bottleneck speed and not worry about playing the whole song up to full speed or performance speed. Now what do I mean by bottleneck speed? Let's say you're learning some solo which is mostly kind of slow when you can play it, it's pretty easy, but then there's one part or one or two parts that are just impossibly fast, let's say, and you know it's going to take you maybe six months to a year, maybe even more, to learn the notes at that speed. Well, should you spend the next six months to a year or 18 months learning the whole solo all the way up to speed just because of the one bottleneck part? Well, I don't think so. I think you've got better things to do in your guitar playing. So what I suggest is to learn the song up to the fastest speed you can play the hardest section of the song. Even if it means you're going to play the entire solo only at half speed, so be it. Because at least you'll have the satisfaction of knowing that, hey, you can play this whole solo or this whole song all the way through, even if it's slow, then you can continue working on your general skills, undo your bad habits, sharpen your efficiency in your picking hand, in your fretting hand, get your synchronization up tighter, develop your other skills that you need to play the songs well, and then when you come back to the music, you will find that you'll be able to play it faster and cleaner without even trying. That is the secret to learning songs and not burning yourself out, not getting frustrated because you can't play something as fast as the record or whatever, 
and doing it in a way that doesn't detract from your general skill development as a guitar player. Now, I mentioned earlier, you can use other people's music to boost your creativity without physically learning to play it. And the way you do that is through musical analysis. What I mean is, instead of taking a solo that you like and spending the next three months memorizing the solo, bringing it up to speed, refining all the kinks that need to be refined for you to play it as well as the record. What if you simply took an hour and simply thought about things like, okay, what scale is being used here? What are the chords under the solo? What is the rhythm? That's rhythm parts that are happening under the solo. How is the solo being laid out in terms of pitch range? Where is the climax happening? How is the phrasing being used? All of those details that make the solo what it is and find ways to analyze those things and adapt them into your playing without physically learning the notes. That is a much, much faster way to do it. And not only is it faster, it's infinitely more useful because you don't waste time learning the notes that are not going to help you in any way. You're not going to put that solo on a record and call it your own. But if you adapt these things that, that you like about the solo, that is how you boost your creativity with other people's music without wasting time physically learning it. This is also, by the way, how you can benefit from other people's music that may be way beyond your current skill level. So there you have it. My outlook on learning songs, the good, the bad, the ugly of it, and the practice method I recommend to follow should you decide to make learning songs part of your practice time. On that note, if you want to know more about squeezing maximum progress out of whatever practice time you've got, hit the link in the description of this video and I'm going to show you a one hour masterclass with five of my biggest guitar playing progress accelerators that I've discovered over almost 20 years of playing and teaching guitar. If you like this video, like this video, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so YouTube notifies you of every single time I upload new videos just like this for you. This is Mike Filipov, guitar practice expert from practiceguitarnow.com and I'll see you next time.